Hello everyone, this is R.S. Miller at TheEndTimeNews.org and today is October 29th, 2012. This is an alert for those living in the danger zone along the U.S. eastern seaboard. I'm sure you're all aware that Hurricane Sandy is due to hit the U.S. coast sometime today. This hurricane has been dubbed Frankenstorm due to its severely low barometric pressure and its mixing with other weather-related factors to produce one of those rare storm-of-the-century type events. This is a very dangerous weather system which has already claimed 65 lives in the Caribbean and is expected to bring heavy flooding, dangerous winds, and power outages as it makes landfall in the U.S. Mass evacuations of certain areas in the direct path of the hurricane have already been ordered. Public transportation such as buses, subway systems, and airports are being shut down until after the storm passes. I strongly advise those of you who live in the danger zone to follow your local advisories. If an evacuation has been ordered for your area, then you should leave at once. Don't take chances by waiting to see if it's going to be as bad as everyone is saying it is. Get out now while you can. Help may not be available for several days. For more information, go to ready, that's R-E-A-D-Y dot gov, and God bless you all. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, obviously, all of us across the country are concerned about the potential impact of Hurricane Sandy. Uh, this is a serious and big storm. And my first message is to uh, all people uh, across uh, the eastern seaboard, mid-Atlantic, uh, going north, that you need to take this very seriously and follow the instructions of your state uh, and local officials uh, because they are going to be providing you with uh, the best advice in terms of how to deal with this storm over the coming days. Uh, we just had a, uh, an excellent meeting with the FEMA team here, uh, the various agencies that are in charge, including the Department of Defense, Department of Energy, uh, and others that are going to need to respond very quickly. Uh, under Craig Fugate's leadership here at FEMA, uh, we've had a chance to talk to the regional officials as well, uh, and I just had a phone call with the governors of potentially impacted states, uh, as well as some of the major cities in the region. Uh, at this stage, uh, everybody is confident that the staging process, the pre-positioning of resources, commodities, uh, equipment that are going to be needed to respond to the storm are in place. But as Craig has emphasized, uh, this hasn't hit landfall yet. So we don't yet know uh, where it's going to hit, uh, where we're going to see the biggest impacts, uh, and that's exactly why it's so important for us to respond big and respond fast as local information starts coming in. Uh, I want to thank uh, all the members of the team for uh, the outstanding work that they're doing, but uh, the other thing that makes this storm unique is we anticipate that it is going to be slow moving. Uh, that means that uh, it may take a long time not only to clear, but also to get, for example, uh, the power companies back in to clear trees and to put uh, things back in place so that folks can uh, start moving back home. Uh, so my main message to uh, everybody involved is that we have to take this seriously. Uh, the federal government is working effectively with the state and, and local governments. It's going to be very important that populations in all the impacted states take this seriously. Listen to your state and local uh, elected officials. Uh, my message to the governors as well as to the mayors is anything they need, uh, we will be there. Uh, and we're going to cut through red tape. We're not going to uh, get bogged down with a lot of rules. We want to make sure that we are anticipating uh, and leaning forward uh, into uh, making sure that we've got the best possible response to what is going to be uh, a, a big and messy system. So, again, thank you, everybody. Craig, would you like to add something? Now, again, as the President says, it's going to really come down to the public heeding those evacuation orders, taking protective measures. If they haven't gotten ready, they can go to ready.gov, get information on how to protect them and their families, but also check on your neighbors. This is going to be a big storm. We need to be there for each other. Okay. Uh, that, uh, let me emphasize that again. Ready.gov uh, for the general public. If you need to know how to respond, uh, that's where you can get centralized information. Uh, but uh, I think Craig's point is exactly right. In times like this, one of the things that Americans do is we pull together and we help out one another. Uh, and so there may be elderly populations in your area 
uh, check on your neighbor, check on your friend, make sure that they're prepared. Uh, if we do, then we're going to get through the storm uh, just fine. But we're going to have to make sure that uh, we are vigilant uh, and vigilant for a couple of days. Don't anticipate that just because uh, the immediate storm has passed uh, that we're not going to have some uh, potential problems in a lot of these communities uh, going forward through the week. All right? Thank you very much, everybody.